hello I am back I've just taken a short break and I've tied my hair up because it's like ridiculously warm here um, so episode 9 I am scared I am nervous for Pat and Pran right now they're really gonna make me watch this again. Oh, it was really sweet though. It's okay. It's not like with Cutie Pie episode 11 ending where they made me watch that again. That was horrific. <clears throat> They're so sweet. Oh! That why? Why is he here? I don't know why. Oh, he's looking for Pran. Okay. What what a way to go a lot. Oh man. อยากโหวตให้คนอื่นรู้ว่ามึงเป็นเจ้าของแล้วอ่ะคิดโซเชียลมีเว็บอวดปะวะมึงลองฟังดิมึงไงวะเสียงตันเนาะ Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, these lines are hitting different now I know that Y can hear them. Oh, they're hitting so different. So fucking scary. <clears throat> oh, he's been picking up on it. Oh my god, he's about to murder somebody. I hate him. Oh, I hate him so much. Oh, and he's there. F Oh, you're such a villain. I fucking hate him so much. Oh, that's why there was dramatic music. Okay. I didn't I didn't catch that. He was there. Oh, I hate him. I fucking hate him. Asshole, man. The friends are assholes. Like, I can maybe understand being pissed off that Pran lied to him, like, that many times. But how do you prematurely expose your best friend's relationship out of spite? 
the man is a grade A piece of shit. Oh, we don't get to see the play? Okay. He kind of looks murderous, but he actually mostly looks sad. That looks so different. It's crazy. I thought, why quit? Why was it? Why is he even there now? I d why is he back on the sound team? I don't understand. <sighs> you are definitely an asshole, no matter what happens for what you did. Well, yeah, you've hardly been approachable. Okay, 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 okay. You know what? I like to give credit where it is due, even if I don't like a character, and I agree with what Y just said. Because just just take it just just take a second. I hate it when people lie about something to someone and then their excuse for lying is but you wouldn't have been okay if i told you the truth that's not a good excuse to lie why is right that it should have been up to him to either be okay with it or not be okay with it and to assume that you think you know how someone's going to handle it i mean i think we all we all knew he would have handled it badly but again the responsibility for that is on why it's not on anyone else and to take that choice away from him you're taking the blame away from him and putting it on yourself basically whereas if he'd just been honest even if why wasn't okay with it the blame would have then just been with why whereas actually now it's kind of partially both their faults saying that Saying that, you cannot force someone to come clean, oh, not come clean because that makes it sound bad, you can't force someone to be open and honest about their relationship before they are ready. There is absolutely no reason why Pran should feel the need to tell why any sooner than he feels ready to, or tell anyone. A relationship is a very private thing between two people and newsflash why is not one of those two people like we know in this scenario that pran didn't tell why because he knew that why wouldn't approve but there's actually loads of reasons why they might not have wanted to go public about their relationship yet especially being based in thailand which although it is a country that advertises itself as being quite lgbt friendly they've still got a lot of battles to win in terms of equality for lgbt couples i mean that's you know a subject that was touched upon in cutie pie quite a lot so they are in a young gay relationship in thailand and the person that they're dating is someone who they're meant to have grown up hating so there's so many reasons why they might not have wanted to go public and at no point should they feel forced to be like honest sooner if i got in a relationship right now and i didn't want to tell my best friend i wouldn't and you know what when i did decide to tell her i feel like when i do the reaction i would expect from her would not be well you didn't tell me right away as soon as you got into it that's not how it works you tell people when you're ready so I can kind of see why Y is upset and 
how he feels like he wasn't even given a chance to be okay with it, but at the same time, no, fuck you. <laughs> like, it, it, he doesn't have to say anything to anyone. I don't know. I can, I kind of agree with what, what he said, what? but hmm, I don't know. Mm. I do, I do see where he's coming from. I really do. I don't like him as a character, and it doesn't excuse what he just did. But I do see where he's coming from. To have that choice taken away from him, and just to have it hidden from him. But again, they don't they don't owe him that truth, so Oh god, I hate these guys, man. I have been dreading the moment that these guys found out. Such a dick. <laughs> There's so many unlikable characters in this show. It's crazy. โหยาเป็นกลางไม่มีอยู่จริงเว้ยมึงอ่ะมึงก็แลนด์เอาตอนในพักอยู่อ่ะมึงไม่พูดวะกูกูไม่มีข้อมูลมากพอครับกูให้
<laughs> I love them so much. I don't know what they're drinking, but it's so fucking warm right now that it looks like really refreshing to me. I love them so much. God, it must be really nice for them to just be able to sit outside together like that as well. They're like hiding on a rooftop somewhere. Damn, you're not even gonna let Y win? Come on, man. He hates you enough already. Man are just infuriating. I cannot remember a time when I have disliked characters this much. Is he actually okay with it? <laughs> I am confused. It's time for the sponsor. It's okay, why can't interrupt them? It's a paid sponsorship. He was looking though, did you see that? Oh, look at this. He actually looks at them. Oh, I'm scared for their safety, honestly. He can be so scary looking sometimes. Are you really gonna flirt like that in front of everyone? That's friends just cheered though. I'm so confused. You call it sulking, I call it planning a murder because he looks really fucking terrifying sometimes. They're really okay with it. They're really okay with it? Pat's friends? Hello? Can I get some clarification? I, I don't know, I'm confused. But it must be so nice for them to be able to be themselves around other people. Thank God that whole thing is over. 
งจิตไม่งั้นไม่เชื่อถามปาดูได้เลยเราก็เคยบอกมันอยู่อืมไม่เคยบอกอยู่แต่ตอนแรกเราก็ชอบอิงนะจริงอ่ะรู้สึกสวยมากแบบเพื่อนอ้าวแรงอ่ะแล้วอย่างนี้เปลี่ยนใจกันตอนไหนเนี่ยจริงๆก็ระบุเวลาไม่ได้ว่าเปลี่ยนใจตอนไหนมันก็ไม่รู้หรอกว่าเราเปลี่ยนชัดๆตอนไหนอ่ะหรือไม่ก็ก็อาจจะเข้าตัวนี้มาตั้งนานแล้วอะแต่แค่เพิ่งมารู้ตัวเห็นชัดอะไรเออถูกแล้วไม่ได้ว่าอะไรเลย I love it this is the new friendship square guys except it's a sibling group and then a couple and then everyone else's friends it's still a friendship square Every good BL show needs a friendship square. Cute, cute, cute. That's true. When Ink got transferred to the school, they were at that point where they were already secretly friends, right? เราอ่ะมีคนมาจีบบ้างหรือยังโหพี่อิงในใครบอกปีหนึ่งเนื้อจะหอมสุดไงคงเช็ดพานี่แบบเงียบกริบไม่ใช่เคียกับพี่อิ
school can't on Amahaya. The fucking dramatic music kicks in every time he walks on the screen. Yeah, see, he doesn't get the murderous look in his eyes when he's looking at Pran. Like, it's a really subtle shift that makes him seem kind of scary to me, I guess. Kind of spooky. But he isn't like that with Pran. He's only like that with Pat. Oh my god. The only person you're going to end up hurting is Pran. Corn. It's confusing the fuck out of me. He's stopping Pat from fighting with Y. All of his friends, actually, are holding him back. But in the first episode, they would have been helping him beat up Y. Which begs the question, why is he doing that? He's stopping Pat from getting in trouble. And he's stopping Pat from fighting with Pran's best friend. Which, as I just said, would only hurt Pran in the long run. He's actually been a good friend. I see what you're doing, sir. I see you. I've got my eye on you. Corn, actually, good friend. There's no way that they're okay with them dating. I, I wasn't even paying attention to what the coach was saying because I'm just staring at corn like trying to figure it shit out God are they actually gonna lose the entire game because of wise douchebaggery? Still don't like you, but okay.
เขาข้างฝั่งตัวเองลูกนั้นมึงไม่ฟาวเหรออ้าวถ้ามึงไม่พอใจตั้งแต่แรกอ่ะมึงไปยกมือประท้วงดิวะไม่ได้มาเก่งแต่ป่ารับหลัง He just picks a fight with everyone, man. I can't stand him. Corn again. Helping why? The <laughs> the biggest mystery. Of my time. It's literally the biggest mystery of my entire life trying to work out if I actually like corn. I don't know, man. I'm so thrown right now. I was not expecting this from him. It's like the most sudden character arc of all time. Weird. They're so cute. They literally just live at Pran's apartment now. Is that corn? <laughs> How does he even know that they're in Pran's apartment? Oh, that was cute. Hey, you, look, you guys look really fucking dodgy right now. I just want to throw that out there. Maybe get off the bed and put some clothes on. <laughs> I just even know they're in Pran's apartment. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. What the fuck, man? <laughs> don't fight, don't fight. <laughs> He's actually supportive of their relationship. I'm just so surprised right now. Like, don't get me wrong, I, I disliked all of the friends for a really long time, but if I remember, like, back in episode whenever the fuck it was, when they were in the apartment. Uh, Pran's friends were in his apartment and they seemed like really quiet and calm and civilized people and then Korn and like Pat's friends were like banging on the door and being like hugely toxic and I remember thinking then like at least Pran's friends are okay like they seem like they would be fairly level-headed about stuff but like I remember thinking Pat's friends are just gonna be the worst when they get told about this relationship and I could not have been more wrong. Like, Korn didn't even have a single scene where he wasn't okay with it. Like, the foot on the stool thing, he said he did it because of the seniors, right? So he literally saw Pran and Pat together and found out that way. And probably found out that they'd been lying about it. And was just okay with it. Instantly and has since shown behaviour that is conducive to being a good friend. Like stopping Pat from fighting with Pran's best friend, and even protecting said best friend from random rugby dudes, which he doesn't gain anything out of that. 
That doesn't even help Pat. That just helps Y. I'm so confused. Like, how could I get his character so completely wrong? Hmm. I don't know, man. He's, like, genuinely supportive of their relationship. It's really nice. I was so wrong about him. Who are these people? Are these the rugby people? Oh yeah, these are the rugby people. It's fine, man. I don't like Y either. <laughs> You just can't make any friends, can you? Asa! He is an Asa. That's fucking rude. What the fuck? Why does he have a gun? Isn't he a student? <sighs> Hang on. <sighs> that genuinely scared the crap out of me. Like, my heart just fucking skipped a beat. Why does everyone go to where Y works? Oh my god, that actually just fucking stre <laughs> stressed me the fuck out. Don't get me wrong, I don't like Y. He's a really shitty person, but I don't want him to get shot. Okay? Okay. Alright, I'm fine. ใจเหลือเกินอ่ะเรียนสดชื่นกูอ่ะฮีโร่แต่พวกมึงอ่ะตัวมาเกาะไปโอ้ยปากดีนะมึงอ่ะอ่ะเอางี้ใครเมาก
What the fuck? How does a uni student get a gun? So fucking stressed. <laughs> really fucking stressed. This is not gonna end well. This is not gonna end well. This is not gonna end well. Oh, praise corn, man. God, I love you right now. I am stressed. I'm not like upset, but my anxiety is like through the fucking roof right now. Like I'm, I'm like spacing out, and I'm like having trouble like focusing on shit. I'm stressed. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna take a minute. I can get upset and that is fine, like with cutie pie and stuff, I got through it. Other than the cringe and embarrassment of uploading those afterwards. It's not a big deal, but like with my anxiety and stuff, I need to like take it seriously. Okay. You know what? I am gonna watch something happy just for a second. Just give me a minute. This one, maybe? This one? I'm just looking for MaxNet stuff. Oi! Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> God, you know that I'm stressed out when watching my power couple isn't helping me feel better. Just give, just give me max net stuff. What is that? It's like a compilation. Is that them? What is that from? Why are you why just you? Oh that was one of their other ones maybe. Mm. That's so sweet looking. I wanna watch this. Someone tell me if this is cute and fluffy. Why Destiny with Sun and Nua? Because if it's if it's got a happy ending, I am all in for that. Like my god. I'm so stressed right now. Just... It looks cute. I want to watch that. June and Blue. Why are you? Oh, is that them in Why Are You? That looks cute. I'm not sure. 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 I'm not sure
จริงดีที่สายฟ้ากับพี่แซมอยู่ That's not จิ้นน่ะ That's crazy He looks so different แกดีนี่เพื่อนพูดไหมเนี่ยมันอร่อยขนาดนั้นเลยเหรอทำไมอ่ะก็คนมันชอบกินตั้งแต่เด็กแล้วนะ It's not Max That's Max แต่กูว่ามันก็ดีที่สุดแล้วนะเว้ย He looks different too ไม่ใช่คนจะมาสนใจซื้อบัตรเข้าร่วมงานหรอมึงดูอย่างปีก่อนดิ This is crazy มึงทำอะไรของมึงวะมึงทำเสื้อกูเปียกเหรอมึงทำเสื้อกูเปียกเหรอ God this is not helping my anxiety No wait Oh fuck man I am so, I am so stressed right now. I'm so, I'm so glad I paused it on this part where I can see someone's gonna intervene, because the idea of Max's character punching Nat's character just like. God, bad buddy has got me like anxious, man. That gun just came out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, thank God for this guy. My God. He's hiding behind him. You know where? But I'm not in charge. You know where? I'm not in charge. You're in charge. I'm in charge, right? You're in charge. They have a love triangle or something. I hope not. Eyebrows. Oh God, is it a love triangle? Oh, I hate that. What's happening here? Most replayed. ใช้ตัวเองแล้วกันเออก็เรามันอ่อนแอนี่หว่านะ Me too, man. I'm feeling pretty fucking fragile right now as well. ขอเพิ่มความไม่ใช่เหรอวะKissing guys right now, man. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. That was really cute the way he hugged him from behind, though. Oh, okay. If there's a love triangle in that, then that's definitely out. No, thank you. I hate that. Man, I'm so stressed. I'm just going to have to watch it, aren't I? I like tried to take a break and watch like Zinunu and Maxnat stuff and then I just got distracted because I saw that Why Are You video and I just clicked the wrong fucking time and that just like absolutely sent my anxiety through the roof. So nine. He has to be okay, right? It's it's literally impossible for him to not be okay. 
He's one of the people in the only pairing in the entire show. If anything happened to him, there wouldn't be another three episodes. It would just it's just it's literally impossible for him not to be okay. I am anxious as fuck, but I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do it. God, it must be awful for them to, to like, see your friend get shot right in front of you. Got to be kidding me, man. Is he okay? He's not the only one. I'm fucking angry right now. Yes, I was. I'm still stressed. เราสันนิษฐานว่าเป็นปืนของคุณเบื้องต้นเราขอแจ้งข้อหาทรวิวาสและมีอาวุธปืนไว้ขอบคลองครับ The fuck why would you just assume that Can they do that hello I feel like why feels about Pat the way that I feel about why. Like why doesn't like Pat, but he probably doesn't want him to get shot. You guys don't have CCTV at the bar? From when they pulled the gun on Y? Yeah. Parking lot. You guys don't have cameras like on the outside of the bathroom. That's fucking mental. I am, I'm really stressed. I, that fucking gun thing just scared the crap out of me, and my anxiety just went through the roof. And then my attempts to calm down failed miserably. Wait, there is CCTV there. Oh, were they saying like there's no CCTV for where Pat was? 
like outside i thought they were thinking about this this is what i was thinking of yeah there you go Oh god, do not pick now to be a douchebag. Do not pick now to be a douchebag. Thailand is so pretty. Thank you, Jesus. me and Pran and Y are on good terms again now. I'm so stressed. I'm like really struggling to like stay focused on what's happening. I might need to take just like a little break after this episode. Is that really what the Thai police look like? They look scary as fuck, man. They look like they're in the military. Hmm, cute. Oh. I'm so glad why did not keep that CCTV to himself. That doesn't excuse his assholeish behavior for the last 10 episodes. Because it was like the basic human decency thing to do to turn in that CCTV. เรียบร้อยดีนะขอบอกว่าไอ้พาร์ทเนอร์ดูคดีอ่ะเข้าใจมากๆนะไหนอ่ะเป็นไงบ้างมึงตายหายยังตายหาอะไรวะไม่น่
Uh, this episode start with the yeah it did oh god that felt like such a long episode so much happened it started off literally just after everyone found out about them <sighs> okay i'm gonna quickly give my thoughts i'm obviously stressed the the gun thing is like one of my anxiety triggers life-threatening violence is like it just immediately puts me uh, on edge i am glad that they didn't drag out whether or not he was okay like the gunshot happened at the end of part three and then beginning of part four you find out that he's fine and it's just like a graze i'm so glad they didn't drag that out or make it worse than it was or make it like so that you don't know whether or not he's okay like it's literally less than half an episode between him getting shot and him being okay i'm really glad because i was just stressed um i made the mistake of so when i'm like not feeling great or whatever something that i do at the moment which is just really happy and fluffy is just watch like little clips of xenunu or maxnet or from cutie pie and it puts me in a good mood again right like they're just really sweet and it's like the most wholesome thing and i made the mistake of getting distracted and i just obviously had the worst luck clicking on the why are you thing and I just thought that like Max's character was going to punch Nat's character and that was just like really anxiety inducing as well. I, I just failed fucking miserably at cheering myself up basically. Um... But no, it, it, it's fine. Pat's fine. Pran's fine. The friends are okay now, right? Like, I mean, my god, was I wrong about corn though? Like, hello? I, like, I actually really like him as a character, and that's crazy. I really thought I was gonna make it to the end of the series hating corn and why. I'm still not a big fan of why. He, he did the basic human decency thing by handing in the CCTV. That's not something he should be like, oh, well done. Like, that's something that you should do. It, the fact that I thought there was a chance he might not is actually the concerning thing. Um, but I didn't want him to get shot, so that fucking terrified me when I thought he was going to get shot. <sighs> God, my reaction to this, and then people want me to watch Kin Porsche, which apparently has death in it. Man, oh man, oh man. I would have to go, if like, if I ever watched that, I would have to go into it and not get attached to anyone. I would just be terrified of getting attached to anyone. Because, like, at any given moment, a character could just suffer and be, like, really upset and going through a horrible time. And I just would not be able to cope with it. I don't know. Kim Porsche doesn't seem like a BL show though. That seems like a violence, mafia, drama, crime show with a little bit of BL in there. It doesn't seem like a BL show. Like, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm stressed. I'm going to take a break just for 15 minutes or so. I'm going to just chill out. Um, maybe... I don't know. I'm just gonna I'm gonna take a break. <laughs> I will be back. I I do think that I have time to watch what, what do we have? Three episodes left? If I don't take too long in between episodes, I can watch all three tonight. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. Do you know what's funny? I wouldn't have remembered this if I hadn't edited the video yesterday. So I edited um, the video for episode one yesterday um, 
and I was editing it and there's a part before I start watching this there's a part where I say I'm talking about content ratings for the show and I'm like oh bad buddies rated 13 so like no one's gonna get stabbed or anything and I said it like so casually and like the whole fucking show like with with them at the beach and everything I was like joking around that Y was gonna stab Pat because like he just looks fucking scary but I was obviously joking because it's a 13 and I was like there's not gonna be any life-threatening violence and then this fucking guy just pulls out a gun <sighs> oh man no one's gonna get stabbed or anything god almighty man I can't believe how wrong I was about corn. I'm I can't get over this man. Like how quickly he accepted their relationship. And he was like supportive and they were cheering when they were flirting together. And then he knew that Pat would be in Pran's apartment. And like immediately from the like even from the rugby match that evening, he was immediately calling Pran your boyfriend. Like I and he stopped them fighting and he tried to step in when Y picked a fight with the rugby dude I was so wrong about him he's actually a really good friend I don't think I was wrong about Y Y was a douchebag and up until that video call point I just fucking couldn't stand him he was prematurely revealing their relationship because he was just spiteful and just in general being a really unlikable person but especially like when you get to the beach scene and pat is like obviously trying to integrate and be nice and be friendly and why it just makes why more angry it's like uh, he's such a bad person i don't think i was wrong about why he was a dick and i don't really want to like him but that was a nice video call mm. I don't know. What did the comments say about this episode? Because I got fucking stressed out, man. The only bad thing about the show is how bad the police do their job. What kind of investigation was that? Yeah! They just assumed the gun was his. It was crazy, man. Let's just agree after this episode we've all gotten out of the toxic crush we had on Y and can now have a normal crush on him. Really? You could like him when he was like that? 2,000 people liked Y before this point. He had no redeeming qualities. Weird. Can we all talk about this? I really love how respectful Pat's friends are. They support, they attack, they respect, they accept, and they especially protect. Oh, I love it, man. Biggest fucking mystery of my life was trying to work out if I liked corn or not. Crazy, man. Crazy. I'm going to just take like 10 minutes and then I'm going to be back and we're going to dive into episode 10. I don't know if I'm even going to upload the fucking shit show that was me trying not to let my anxiety escalate. I don't know. I'll see when I edit it how I feel and how awful it is. Um, I apologise for my reactions this video <laughs> i i do have an anxiety disorder and it does make me more stressed at things that you guys are probably like come on now um it's it's just part of this is why i only like shows with happy endings and happy fluffy stuff um if there's like too much stressful stuff i just find it really difficult to cope with it emotionally um I don't want anyone to worry about me or feel like I shouldn't be watching stuff or anything like that. I'm fine. 
um, having high anxiety and being stressed out is completely different from actually having an anxiety attack that does not happen to me very often and normally honestly the only things that can actually give me an anxiety attack are my own thoughts and it's normally at like four o'clock in the morning when i'm like trying to sleep and my own thoughts get in my head that's really the only time i will have a, like a full-blown anxiety attack anymore I don't get anxiety attacks from like shows and stuff so like I don't want anyone to be like shit she shouldn't be watching this I'm fine I'm just really stressed out and I'm really glad that they like sorted it out quickly and didn't drag that on so I'm good I'm just gonna take 10 minutes to chill out and then I'll be able to enjoy episode 10 a lot more um just because when I am anxious I have like two main symptoms uh one is i fidget a lot and i do that anyway you'll see me like playing around with stuff while i'm watching but like i fidget non-stop and i just jitter and get really jittery and stuff um and the other thing is that i just stare off into space and my brain just shuts down and i don't, I don't focus on anything and i find it hard to think and take in information and I just don't want to like go into episode 10 while I'm in that frame of mind because I don't think I'll enjoy it as much. So I'm just going to take 10 minutes and then I'm going to come back and I'll be ready for episode 10 and I'll be able to enjoy it. So that's what I'm going to go with. So I will be back. Bye.